All right, hello everybody. Have you ever wondered how much throughput a inserter could theoretically have? And have you ever wondered if the rotation speed has anything to do with the actual throughput? Well, let's find out here in this episode of Jar Games Factorio Testing Zone. That's right. All right, let's get into it. Okay, yeah, so let's uh, take a look at it here and see... We have one of each quality of inserter. We've got our regulars, our blues, and our long-handed inserters, and of course the greens and the beloved stack inserters over here. And they're just inserting into a box, and then what we're doing is we are dividing the contents of the box by the amount of time, which I have set over here as 30 seconds. And this is just multiplying by 60 ticks per second to get a T value which is then uh, used for other inputs here. So we're just saying a clock that's going to count up to that 1800T, which is the amount of ticks in 30 seconds. So when I hit the green switch on and off here, then it will allow this whole system to run for that 30 seconds. And then the displays will divide the amount in the containers by 30 seconds and therefore we will get an amount per second for each hand. So let's run it. And here we go. Okay, so these are the results now. And on the top we can see that it's 3 per second, 4 per second, 5 per second, 6 per second, and then 8 per second. And that's interesting because the rotation speed here is let's see if if it's 302 on the first one and it goes up to over it's actually fairly close like what's three what's uh 756 divided by 302 756 divided by 302 uh 756 yeah no 756 divided by 302 is 2.5 so actually that's pretty much exact for there uh, that's interesting that the rotational speed actually does kind of matter in this case um, if we look at this one here 10 13 17 20 and 30 so here it's actually yeah it's interesting it's not quite like solid math when looking at the rotational speed so I think it's worthwhile to have some of these numbers to reference but here is also a nice interesting one because you can get up to 13 per second with a long-handed legendary which i think is very useful and if we were to look at this one being 432 degrees per second and this one being 821 degrees per second interesting that it is over double the throughput even though it is less than double the rotational speed. And of course we are using all of the maximum uh, stack size on this, so that's important to note as well. And I can already hear some people screaming in the comments like, well, what about from belts? Or what about two belts? Or what about belt to belts? This is only chests to chests. Yeah, yeah, I got you. Maybe in the next video, we'll see, we'll see. But either way, um, just continuing with the numbers here, we have the bulk inserters and they go from 30 all the way to 80 per second and these beautiful juicy stack inserters they go from 40 per second all the way to 120 which is really interesting because yeah then you would be able to theoretically stack a full half turbo belt with this maybe that wouldn't be the actual outcome in reality with a with a belt when because this is just working from uh, chest to chest so you have time to put the contents down maybe maybe not because they put down stacks at a time I guess well they don't yeah I don't know so maybe that'll be a test in the next episode but either way I think this is pretty interesting to see the numbers here so feel free to screenshot it maybe I will leave a blueprint of this in the comments uh, the description but yeah that's it that's all i just wanted to have some better understanding of the throughput of the different inserters and here we go i'm sure i'll be referencing this a lot as i build all right that's it for now and i will see you in the next one like and subscribe